200 pounds. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm over that and I know that it's safe. I trust my life with this thing up in a tree as long as I'm hooked in with a tether. Uh, I think that, you know, this thing far exceeds that 300 pound weight rating. Tether, just from a liability standpoint, probably keeps it at 300, but I would have to say in testing, they've probably got this thing way above that. Now, I'm not offering any legal advice. I don't want to be held liable if, if you know, something happens with you and you're over that. And I'm sure Tethered will say the same thing, you know, uh, don't tell people that. But, you know, just from a liability standpoint, uh, take it for what it is. You know, you are responsible for your own safety. But as for me, I would say, you know, over 300 pounds, uh, looking at the seatbelt webbing, I would never avoid driving a car for fear that the seatbelt might not be able to contain me in an accident. So that's, that's just my logic on it. Anyway, the saddle is 14 inches in this dimension and 27 inches and I measured to the end of the seat portion. Now, I think that just compared to the Mantis, this is a lot bigger. Uh, when I owned the Mantis, I never actually got to measure it. But when I got this out of the package, uh, I felt that it was much bigger. And, I, you know, it, my initial thought was, wow, that, that'll fit me perfectly. That is my kind of dimension saddle. So if you get a medium or if you get a large, your length and your depth might be a little bit different. Mine is 27 inches by 14 inches. Now, the weight, the weight given on the website was 26 ounces. As configured with my lineman rope, this carabiner, this ropeman, my sys hauler with my haul line in here, my tether, and my gear hanger, this saddle comes out to about three and a half pounds. Now, that's not that big of a deal. I think that the weight reduction craze is a little absurd. I think people go a little too crazy on reducing ounces there. You know, there's, there's trade-offs with everything, so you might save six ounces, but if it means that you're not comfortable or that you're hating every minute of being in the tree, it's just not worth it. So this is still a lightweight option. It's still very safe. I think that when it comes to bigger guys, if there was to be a, an ideal saddle, this would be it. I have tried the Man Mantis, and although I made it work, there was a lot of me hanging out of it, and it felt like it just didn't contain me as well as this does. Now, as far as uh, the cost, it was $179.99 on tetherednation.com. Now, I think I did have to pay $10 in shipping, but for my state, Texas, I don't remember paying any taxes on it. So it was $190 after everything and it took about a week and a half, but I did order it in um, late October, early November, sometime around then. And I went ahead and sold my Mantis to someone on texasboathunter.com. So with the cost, here's a, a, a big caveat. The original Menace came with a fixed, non-adjustable 30 inch Amsteel bridge. That is a step up from the Mantis because the Mantis came with a 24 inch uh, fixed am steel bridge. And I will have to say that when I put that on and I hooked into my tether, it felt like I was hooking into my belt. The, the bridge was really close to my gut. And when I hooked in, it, I, I just felt like I didn't have any separation from the tree. I felt like that it was too constrictive. I needed more. And when you have a short bridge, basically the connection point is gonna look like this. So here is like your stomach and your body, and here's the connection point up top. Now, if you get an adjustable bridge like this one, this is from Cruiser Saddles. This will adjust out to 34 inches, and it's truly a little bit more than that because you're not connecting directly to, to your bridge loops. So tack on another six inches. So let's say you have 40 inches of adjustment there. So what that equates to is instead of having a fixed small triangle that you can adjust your tether, but as far as bridge, you're, you're pretty much stuck. This allows you to lengthen the legs on that triangle and this will get out of the way of your stomach. So instead of having a short triangle hookup point that's gonna you know, push into your gut, this has long legs that kind of bypass or, or go around your stomach and you won't feel 
much, if any, tension or pressure pushing in on your stomach. So getting back to cost, this was about 40 bucks. So let's say, um, you know, with 190, that was 230 total. Well, when you buy it on Tethered's website, you can use PayPal. Now what's awesome is that PayPal has introduced pay in four. So it's a free financing option through PayPal. And the way that it works is that you still pay the same 190, but in four equal payments. There's no fees, there's no interest, and it comes directly out of your PayPal account. So if you have a debit card linked to that, uh, you will just be charged every two weeks. You get the item after you make the first payment. So this was, let's say 190, my first payment was $48. They send out the product and then the next uh, six weeks I'm still paying on it, but it helps alleviate some of that upfront cost. I know you're still paying the same amount, but it helps when you can spread it out over time. That way, you know, if you don't like it or if you're, you know, tight on money, you just can't afford the full amount, you can put down a little bit and get to use the product and then pay later. So that is an excellent option. I think that uh, every retailer should offer that. I think that it'll increase sales, reduce friction, and it'll just work out great for the consumer. Now, tying back to the, uh, tying, get the pun. <laughs> okay, so perfect complements. This would be a perfect complement. This adjustable Amsteel bridge. I think that going with simple Predator line from Eastern Woods Outdoors is a perfect complement. I think this was about 30 bucks, then tack on shipping, and maybe some tax. Uh, well worth it though, cheap, easy, simple. It's not the most lightweight option out there, but you do get a uh, sewn, sewn eye so that you can eliminate the carabiner that normally would have to hook into here. And then you're just having to use one carabiner to connect to your other lineman loop on the other side. Now, as far as tether, I'll go ahead and pull mine out real quick. And this is a complimentary item. Same thing, same exact predator rope. So mine are actually interchangeable. I can use this same predator line as my tether or my lineman belt. Now, the, the why behind why I differ in my tether, so this is my tether that hooks up to the tree. I actually use a Prusik that is a split ice tail. So it's got two sewn eyes there and then a tethered carabiner. What I've heard is that there can be failures with the ropeman and especially if you were to fall or slip, it becomes a fall arrest device when you fall as opposed to a fall restraint the way that it was intended. So I've always been real iffy on using that as a, a tree tether, which is why I use a Prusik. This Prusik has a breaking strength of about 8,500 pounds. The rope itself has a breaking strength of I think 5,800 or 5,400, somewhere up there, way up there. So the weak point in this entire system is probably actually in my tether or, you know, maybe the tree. Maybe I'll take down the whole tree, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so perfect compliments. Then go ahead and get you a good gear hanger. I went with the Hiss strap. I wish that I would have waited for some sort of Amsteel daisy chain, kind of like a VersaLink style. I like that a lot more. I think it's lighter. I think that it collapses a lot more, but it is what it is. It's a gear hanger. Let's not put too much thought to it. So that would be another perfect compliment. And then what we have here is the Trophy Line Mission. Now, you may have a little bit of trouble getting these, but as a bigger guy, this screams, you know, me. This, this is something I look at and I go, yeah, that, that's definitely me. Uh, skinnier guys, smaller guys, more daring guys may want to stand on something this big and wrap it around the tree and, hey, that's great. I, I'm glad that works for you. Just for me personally and for majority of big guys, I'm going to say we... Probably won't be comfortable. We could probably do it, but it won't be as comfortable. This, there's no doubt. I mean, the only real trade-off is the weight and the packability. But when it comes to weight and packability, there are, you know, some, some hills that you're gonna have to 
uh, you know, climb, you are going to have to have some trade-offs. And for me, comfort and safety are number one priorities. And then packability and weight, those fall way down the list. If I really wanted to reduce my overall weight and the ability to go way back in there on public land, I would definitely work on my, my body before my gear. So perfect compliment. Now, uh, if, you, if you do happen to um, have a differing opinion, if there's anything that I missed in this video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. This is not fully comprehensive. We're not gonna spend hours examining this thing, but I did see that on YouTube there's hardly any videos and I don't think that a lot of bigger guys know about this. So I wanted to put this video out there just in case and let them know that, hey, you know, I took the leap of faith, I went and got it, I'm really happy and I think it'll work for you too. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Hey, thanks so much, like the video.